Yeah, can you try to join the meeting now so I can see if I'm on the right link? Yeah, I'm just admitting you right now. I was talking to Beverly. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm texting her. Oh, you saw what she said? Yeah. I let her look at that last week. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, she Uh, you on you on you on live phone, so you know just kind of. Okay, you know, I can. Can you send Nicole a text message and give her the link? Okay, she had to have Google Chrome set up and I don't know how to do that. Okay, okay. I already sent it to her. Okay, just yeah. just ask if she just it just ask if she has Zoom. Uh, we only got like five minutes, so.
Yeah, did you want to put it be on there or not? Well, I just take it off. Yeah, let's leave it like that because that picture don't look too good of you. You look, you look very rough. Nice. I mean, if you want to be on this, it's up to you, but you know, I wouldn't put that picture up there myself. Okay. You can get a different scenery or something, you know. Okay. Right. Yeah, Pat, can you send Jarrell the login, the Zoom login information? He doesn't have it. Good evening. Hey, Ramon, your, your camera's turned the wrong way. I no, my I can't, I can't Fantastic. mount, I can't mount my camera um, that way. Okay. Um, and usually it turns people's pictures. Um, wait a minute, maybe I can actually. Actually, that's it. Give me a moment. All of this technological stuff. We'll get it together eventually. Okay, maybe that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. All righty, I learned something new. Right, it's just you, me, and Pat so far. Okay, what is this? I am learning this um, tripod thing. Crap, I don't know what the problem is. All right, bless the Lord. What a day. How is everybody's day? My day's been pretty rough, to be honest with you. It's been a long day for me. Uh, Pat, if you can hear me, can you send Jarrell the uh, the link to this? He said he can't use the link to get in for some reason. I um, couldn't get in. I couldn't get in through group me. I came in through the invitation in the text. Okay. Can you send Jarrell a text, Pat? Can you hear me, Pat? Call her up. I'm not sure. Her vid, her audio is not on. Yeah, I see. I'm gonna call her. Uh, how was your day today, Bev? It's been. It's hey, Pat, been... Uh -huh. Can you send Jarrell a uh, text with the. Um... I already did, Jerry. We already been talking. Oh, okay. He said he couldn't. Oh. Yeah, and your audio is not on. Let's try it again. Because it asked me for one, too. And then I tried it again. I didn't need one. Okay. Uh, you're on a speakerphone, and people can hear you coming through. Okay. It would be better if she connected her audio to the... Yeah, she's gone. Did you work a day? Um, I work from home, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll go into the office tomorrow. Yep. It's been a long day for me, I tell you that. It, it indeed. 
Where are Mm -mm. What do I do? This is led by our pastor, um, uh, Jerry. Reverend, uh, Reverend Jerry Jones. Thank you. <laughs> Anywho, um, I am uh, searching the Bible, scouring the Bible as I read through the Bible to just be enlightened for, you know, uh, informed prayers and how we should pray and and uh, to solidify and strengthen our relationship with the Lord and to, you know, take hold of all of those things for which God has taken hold of us and all of those promises that God has given to us. And this past week, I have been reading uh, in Leviticus, in chapters 3, 2, 3, and 4, um, where in those chapters, the Lord is, is talking about uh, the people coming before him with offerings and these offerings were their form in that day of communicating with the Lord. And so, you know, they came and bought an offering when they were seeking something from the Lord. And the, in these three chapters, there are three offerings lifted up or purposes for which the first two are voluntary and the third is not voluntary, but something that the Lord required. The first two is a memorial offering. Whenever folk just wanted to remember the Lord, they'd come and bring an offering. The second one is the peace offering. Whenever they are seeking peace in their lives or, or uh, in the midst of enemies or whatever the situation, they came and bought an offering for peace. And the third offering was for sin. Uh, that was an offering seeking the atonement and the forgiveness. Now, the first two offerings were those that people just did when they were moved in their heart and gave freely of their heart to come before the Lord, to remember the Lord. It reminds me of, of Jesus teaching when they ask him, how shall we pray? Notice that the first thing that is in that model prayer that Jesus gave, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The first thing they did in prayer was remember who God is, okay, and to reverence him as God. And so, you know, this, even these patterns of offerings provide for us um, uh, uh, how we should pray. And then he went on, give us this day our daily bread, you know, um, and, you know, and keep us from trespasses and so forth. So we seek peace from the Lord in general before we get into our specifics. I'm, I've always felt like that's what that model prayer was saying um, to us, that we just, there's just general things that we can and should pray for, and myself included, but I think we've gotten away from those general things of, of just, you know, the memorial, remembering who God is, you know, worshiping the Lord just by remembering and being thankful. And then secondly, praying for the general condition of our lives, our communities, our leaders. The scripture tells us, Paul admonished them, that they are to pray for the leadership, those in authority, so that there would be peace, that they can live peaceably, amen. And so what I have, the third uh, prayer uh, offering and uh, uh, therefore type of uh, prayer that I see or, or reasons to approach the Lord was not like the first two. Those two, like I said, whenever you moved in your heart to bring a memorial offering, to pray for peace or seek peace, you did that. But the third one, when you sin, Leviticus talks about, and it's been an inadvertent sin. You didn't realize your sin, but when it comes to your consciousness, when you are aware of your sin, no matter who you are, from the highest to the, the least among us, however you measure that from there, it starts with the priest, when they sin and to the uh, all of the people as a people, you know, when they've sinned and uh, uh, when the leadership in the community, the 12 tribes of Israel, those chiefs and heads, when they've sinned or individual folk who didn't have particular titles, anybody who sinned was supposed to come before the Lord with an offering, a sin offering to seek and receive the atonement of the Lord. And I pondered as I thought about and meditated on that scripture this morning uh, that you know, we don't see enough of the coming before the Lord for repentance publicly. Yep, we all got our quiet times, our private times or whatever. But, you know, there's something about putting aside pride and particularly as you're in leadership, role modeling, going before the Lord for repentance, for, for atonement, you know, for confession of sin. I have to tell you what I've done, but the notion that I'm not perfect is a good example to encourage you to acknowledge that you're not 
uh, perfect. So my encouragement is for every person in any form of leader or who wants to be in a form of leadership, you know, don't forget that part, <laughs> you know, going before the Lord and seeking atonement. And so that's my thought in terms of our prayer uh, guidance this morning, this evening, I'm sorry, uh, to pray for uh, just to remember God and who God is and, you know, and what God has done uh, in us and through us and for us and to pray for peace, you know, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding in every situation and every circumstance, and then to pray for the forgiveness of sins, those that we have become conscious of after the fact, those that we knew we were doing when we did them, that we are to repent and pray for God's um, uh, uh, forgiveness. Amen. God doesn't forgive what we don't ask for. If we don't admit that we've sinned. How should we get uh, uh, forgiveness for sin. Jesus said, it's the sick who need a physician. You got to first acknowledge that you got a problem before you get the solution. Amen. And so that is how uh, I would like us to pray. And then certainly uh, after we pray in that fashion, any and every prayer that uh, anyone wants to lift up, we invite you to do that um, uh, out loud if you're comfortable doing so quietly to yourself if that's what you want to do. Amen. Our Father, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you because we realize, God, that you have been good to us, that it was you and your initiative that brought us out of our sin, that brought us out of our bondage, that brought about us out of our blind way of living, our ignorance, God. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be who we are and where we are in you, oh God. Many of uh, situations and circumstances in our lives have been remedied and solved and delivered because of your loving kindness and your tender mercy, oh God, and your patience, Father. We thank you for all that you have done in our lives, what you have done in the lives of others. We know there's nothing too hard for you, Father, and you have given us the privilege to come to you and to be your people, and we thank you for that. We realize we don't deserve it, we haven't earned it, but you just did it because you're a loving God, and we thank you for that. And so for that, oh God, we bring ourselves. That's all we can bring, oh God. We bring ourselves and present ourselves to you once again to be partners with you, oh God, to be your servants, to be your hands, to be your eyes, to be your ears, to be your feet, oh God, to carry out the works that you would have us to carry out in order to uh, that you might be glorified in this earth of the God, that others may see you in us, O oh God, and be drawn to you, O oh God, that the purposes and design and destinies that you uh, um, have placed uh, uh, over the eternities, O oh God, would be fulfilled. We want a partnership and be a part of that uh, of bringing about of your will, Father, in our lives and in the lives of others, even this world. And Father, we pray for peace, oh God. Your word says, Paul well, admonished that we should pray for leadership. And so we pray for all leaders, oh God, in every uh, form of leadership, Father, political leadership, religious leadership, oh God, community leadership, family leadership, Father, every person in authority over anybody and everybody. We're praying, oh God, that uh, as many as will, that they would yield to your pulling, your calling, your crying out in the streets to hear your wisdom and your guidance and your instructions on what is the right thing to do, the right decisions to make, the right paths to take, oh God, as they go and uh, for their uh, purposes and responsibilities, and as they lead others, Father, whether knowing or unknowing, oh God, we ask you to take hold of every leader, Father, in the name of Jesus, and use them, work in them to will and to do of your good pleasure, oh God, that they would lay aside every weight and sin that so easily besets them, that they would lay aside their pride, lay aside their uh, egos, lay aside uh, their uh, uh, presumption, uh, their uh, own intellectual wisdom and, and, and uh, thoughts that they understand and they know, Father, and, and, and arrest their attention, you know, uh, bring to their remembrance, O oh God, speak into their ears, even into their internal souls, O oh God, and uh, uh, draw them to seek your wisdom 
and to follow your wisdom, to place your wisdom above their wisdom, even if it doesn't make sense, to have the kind of trust in you that they would follow and do your will no matter what, oh God. And those, oh God, who are in leadership, who do not belong in leadership, who are actually hell-bent on being uh, agents of the enemy, oh God, agents of the devil, agents of destruction, oh God, agents of fraud and and self-aggrandizement, oh God, be it uh, in the political realm, from the president uh, down to the city council, oh God, for, uh, on the United Nations, Father, on the World Health Organization, any and every one who is there for ill purposes, oh God, use them as you would Pharaoh, Father, uh, in days of old, oh God, that what they do will work to the good of the people, oh God, that that which they are trying to stop, that is your will, oh God, that they will ultimately turn and try to embrace or to push to bring about as quickly as possible and that they would enrich and benefit your people rather than do harm, oh God. And let every weapon formed against the people, oh God, every weapon of deception, every weapon of fraud, every weapon of, 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 de uh, of deceit and, and thievery and and cheating in any form uh, um, of, of, of satanic worship in any form or uh, uh, manner, oh God, let it turn against its maker, Father, in such a way that others will see and know that it is the living God who has brought judgment against them, oh God. Bless your people, oh God. Bring wisdom and, and creativity and intellectual scientific breakthrough that is beyond the knowledge and ability of those who are signs of those works, Father, so that we quickly find a, a, a remedy and a cure, oh God, a vaccine, as it were, for this uh, COVID, oh God. Blow the winds from heaven, Father, in the name of Jesus, and blow this disease out as you did uh, uh, rebuke the uh, demons out of the man in the graveyard, oh God. Cast this virus, oh God into the outer seas, oh God, that it would be destroyed, vanquished, uh, 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 evaporated, Father, to do no more harm, not one more life, not one more child, not one more loved one, not one more parent, oh God, in the name of Jesus, would suffer any more from this uh, situation, Father. We pray for your peace in the midst of these tremorless times, O oh God, where the very quarantine is stressful, O oh God. Give us peace that passes understanding, Father, in the, in the midst of confusion and uncertainty, O oh God. Give us peace as we uh, hear about and mourn the physical loss of the physical presence of loved ones and uh, um, and are unable to have you know, the, a fellowship among one another, uh, to comfort one another, to touch and agree with one another. Oh God, to remember the lives of those who have gone on to glory, oh God. Give us comfort, give us peace, Father, that we would even be your peacemakers, Father, that we would be conduits of your peace to those in distress in any way, shape, or form, oh God. And then, oh God, we ask that you would search us, oh God, and see what wicked way there is in us, oh God, and bring it to our consciousness, Father, in the name of Jesus. And as it is, oh God, that you would, uh, uh, as we come and, and ask for your forgiveness, that you would forgive us, oh God. Forgive us right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We know we haven't done everything in the way that we should have, oh God, even in recent days, oh God. Even as we labor with responsibilities, we haven't done all that we could do, oh God. We haven't done it in the exact right way, oh God. We haven't always told the complete truth, oh God. We haven't always given as we should have given, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we ask your forgiveness, oh God, that you would not only forgive us, oh God, and strip us for, from, from the penalty of our sin, oh God, but that you would cleanse us and fill us with your righteousness, oh God, that we would turn in spirit and in truth from that way, oh God, that is wicked in your sight, and do that those things that are pleasing to you, oh God, that we would walk upright with you, for you. We don't want to just come and ask you to forgive us for something that we have done and then turn around and do the same thing, oh God. We ask you for your help to change us, oh God. Stir up your spirit, even the stronger. You know how to block our way. You know how to remind us, oh God. You know how to make it untasteful to us anymore, oh God, to do the thing. Just whatever it takes, Father, take away the sin, oh God. Give us the strength and the discipline to stand against sin, oh God, that we would be 
as holy as we can be, oh God. Your word says for us to be holy because you are holy and we desire that holiness, Father. So help us, oh God, to grow up in you, oh God, to grow up in your spirit, oh God, to grow up in our faith that we would uh, submit to you even unto uh, the denying of ourselves in any physical, financial, mental, emotional uh, uh, way, intellectual, whatever way, oh God, social way that we would be willing to forsake all and everything in order to uh, uh, follow you, knowing that you know that none give up anything that you don't reward a multiple fold in this life, uh, in 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 the life to come, uh, eternal life, Father. And so we're asking all of these things and thanking you for them in the precious and holy name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. And so now we will hear from anybody who wants to share ideas or thoughts or biblical uh, reflections or testimonies or whatever, uh, as well as uh, any prayer that you would like to lift up. And so in order to make it known that you want to speak on the right side of your, at the bottom of your screen, are three little dots that says more. If you push on that, there's a button there that says raise hand. Um, push on that and it will raise a hand to the pastor who is controlling the administration of this site and he can unmute you or, or recognize you or even physically just wave your hand and, like I just did so he can see that. Amen, the floor is open. I'm not even sure who's here other than us. There's Trustee Deidre. Right. right now, we're having uh, some technical problems with people trying to get in the meeting. Amen. And I don't know why they can't get in, but I've been sending while you was praying. I hate, hate to tell you, right. I was trying to, trying to uh, send this meeting notice to people. Right. Right. I don't really understand why they can't get in, but five people trying to get in the meeting. Right. I know, and I was uh, able to get in. I had the uh, Zoom information, the meeting ID. Can you just send out the meeting ID and the password? Okay, what meeting ID do you, you have? I'm sorry, Beverly, uh, mm -hmm. you're just on your own. That's all right. Um, let me see here. I think she's done that. Um, the, the meeting ID, which one do you have? I have the meeting ID is 572 866 8084. Do you have that? Mm -hmm. Uh oh, what what meeting ID did you have, Deja? Um, see, that's what I I'm trying to go back to it and find it, but I can't. All right, I'll, I'll write this one down mm -hmm. right here. Okay. Okay. Eight, go nine, ahead. Eight okay. nine four. Say it again. Eight nine four. Mm -hmm. Zero four four four. Mm -hmm. Five five four six. And what's the password? Um, I don't I don't know what the password is. I mean, have the, if, it if you click on the link, it should just bring you right to the meeting. Well, it okay. asks for a password. When I when I put the yeah, link in, then it asks. Yeah, sometimes if you come in that way, but if you came in by clicking on the um, the connection that was in the group e, I mean the group text. It brings you right into the meeting without having to have a password. Okay, the All password, right. the password oh. that I have on this is 888-888-689. All right, hold on. I'm going to, uh, uh oh, what just happened? I mean, it's, hey. the same, it's the same link we had last week. Right. Um, but again, I found it easier. Because when I came in through the connecting through the group, group me, and that what might be what people are doing, it just keeps churning and churning and churning, and it doesn't, right. it doesn't show me that I've come in. But when I went to the text and pushed the link there, it brought me into the meeting. Okay, now, tell me, me the, group, the meeting ID you have so I can put it in this. Here, let me, Go ahead. Uh, yeah, 894 five five four six and the password seven six one hmm. three one four i don't know where you got that from i think that might be i wonder if that no that's not 
Well, that's how I got in this one. Oh, okay. really? Wow. Okay, so I have meeting ideas 572-866-8084. Wait a minute. You just gave her the 894. Yeah. Right. I have the meeting ID is 572-866-8084. Okay. The problem with that, Pastor, is you just now, a few minutes ago, gave her 894-0444 because I wrote that down while you were giving it to her. So that may be the problem is that there are... That Set there this are, out. Let's uh, let them try this one. Right. Let's, let's try are, this one. That's the no. one you just sent out. She just sent down out the 894. Now I'm trying to, I don't know how to get myself to leave. Uh, well, I don't want to be both. Look at the top is a red, red okay, button good. that says leave. Look at the very top of your screen. Yeah, I was on, I was on two places. I was oh. trying to get the other one to leave. Oh, I got you. I think yeah. I did. I think it's okay. okay. All right, so let's see if that works. So which one is it that you have? These one? I just texted it out. Uh, 894. Hold on. 894. Go ahead. 0444. Uh, 5546. Okay. And then, and then what the, else? The password. Yeah, 7, 7, 761314. Correct. Okay, but a minute ago you said the password was 888689. Let's try this. Okay, I got Nicole just came in. So people getting in now. Okay. Nicole, you in the meeting now? They have to turn on their. Yeah, people she has coming to in. Turn on her audio. Maybe unmute her, Pastor. Do you have people unmuted? They are muted. No, unmuted. I did unmute it. Okay, so they have to turn on their own, connect their own audio visual as well. Right. Okay, I was, okay, yeah, people are starting to come in, look like. Right, but, but folks are not connecting their audio video. They're not starting their audio, okay, let me. Text and tell them they've got to, yeah, they've got 